Startup Dr. Racket. As usual, we'll be working in the Racket language. Now we're going to write a naive Fibonacci function. So the definition of Fib n is going to be n itself, so long as n is either 0 or 1. Otherwise, we add Fib of n minus 1 to Fib of n minus 2. The code is identical to the definition of the function, so coding is quick. Hit run or F5 and try out a few values. Fib of 0 is what I expect. Fib of 10, mm -hmm. let's try a slightly bigger fib. Now I notice a slight hesitation, so I want to time this and see what's, what's up. So if I time fib of 33, I notice that it takes the computer a couple of seconds to compute this, which is a long time for a program. Where does this hesitation come from? Well, here's fib of 33, and as we unwrap how it's computed, we'll notice that there is a lot of redundant computation. Fib 28 and Fib 29 are repeatedly calculated, and this gets worse the more we unwrap. We should be saving computed values in a hash table and then recalling them as needed instead of recomputing them. Here's how we do that. I can define a memoized version to say that if the key for n already exists, then I'll just return the corresponding value from the hash table. Otherwise, I put the value that I want corresponding to n in the hash table. How do I do that? Well, I go and get the naive code again. And I'm going to be basically using that approach when I don't have it in the table, except I want to make sure that the recursive calls are to fib mem and not to fib the naive version. Once I've stored the appropriate value in the hash table, I just pull it back out with hash ref. And that is my memoized version. Again, click run or type F5. Oops, there's a clerical error. Instead of has, I meant to type hash. So I fix that. F5 or run again. The definition reads in all right. Let's look at a few of those typical values again. It seems to be computing the same thing, so I haven't made something disastrously wrong. But more interestingly, for larger n, I don't have the hesitation. Watch what happens when I time fib mem at 33. The computation is fast enough that no time appears to have passed, even when I enlarge n by an order of magnitude. So we have an efficient way to calculate these sorts of things, except it's not efficient in programmer time. I don't really want to create a hash table for every function that I want to memoize. Similarly, I don't want to have to remember and write all sorts of memoization code on top of the definition or the calculation that I'm really interested in. Next time, we'll automate this.